Now, speaking of panels, um, didn't really go to most. I missed the dollhouse one because it was just ridiculous line for it, and they kind of capped it after a while. Like there was just way too many people there this year. You had to like line up very early in the morning, and you couldn't go like two panels before anymore. You had to like stay there like five panels before. So yeah, um, so I didn't go to get to go to that. Um, don't mind my mom laughing in the background. She's watching TV. Um, and. So yeah, um, I did end up going to the first last panel in Hall H. We got in Hall H. We only waited like an hour and a half on Saturday, and my boyfriend and family just tried to stay in all day. But I left after Solomon Kane panel, which was oh my god, a sick ass panel because the footage was so cool. Hearing was kind of boring, but I can't wait for a movie to come out. Atomist Extract 2012, Zombie Land, and then Iron Man 2 was after that. Atomist was because I wanted to go see True Blood and stuff. So, um, for Bottom 20, uh, we kind of caught the end of Futurama, uh, Simpsons, um, Fringe, we stayed for the panel, uh, V, and then finally it's like True Blood. Now, some of the panels they had like more prize tickets, so the prize ticket for True Blood, we got a little goodie bag. Now, before I get to that, my friend Tina, who helped us book a hotel when we stayed at a resort on Coronado Island. Oh, love you, Tina. She was lucky enough to get an autograph ticket for signing for Charlene Harris, and you get to have three things autographed. So she got me Dead After Dark, the first book, which True Blood is based on, or the series, and it is autographed to me. So I gotta start reading this, um, been meaning to because I've already watched the first season. And I heard this, like, the book is so much better, but, yeah. So, in the goodie bag came, um, a t-shirt that says, it hurts so good. And then, True Blood HBO on the back. And, yeah. Um, also, Living Dead in Dallas. Um, I think this is what majority of the second season is based off of. Um, I haven't watched it, so I'm going to have to wait, um, and stuff like that, because I don't have cable. So, yeah. So, but I need to read that after dark first. And then, this is a blank journal book. Okay. With Suki and Bill on the cover. So, that's why I got the True Blood and stuff. Um, other past secret thingies that I got was... For Simpsons, um, little postcard thing, and then got like a 20 year pin thing, which I'll show you in a bit. Um, Namco watch, that's like a coupon, that's from the gaming section. And now speaking of True Blood, the other vampire stuff that was going on. Twilight, New Moon. Now, um, I only wanted to get this keychain right here, but because of the package and it was only thirty dollars for like a t-shirt, a bag, and a package, but like the keychain, I just had to get it because I just wanted the keychain. Um, and it says, "Well, the wolf's out of the bag now." The whole moon on it and little things and things. <coughs> yep. And so this is the bag that it came in. Twilight Saga: New Moon, July two thousand nine. Um, San Diego, California, and a little logo. And then a shirt, which just says New Moon, and then on the sleeves it has like logo and stuff like that. And the date. I may just have to wear this to the premiere. But yeah. And $30 was actually not that bad of a deal because most of Twilight fans know that what you get at Hot Topic, it's like highway robbery for like each individual item well in this economy anyways so Twilight New Moon I also got trading cards from their booth on the floor and basically if you've seen the new poster I also have a poster too but I'll show you that when I go through my posters so that's um Jacob, Edward, and Bella and stuff and the little description of it and Bella, played by Kristen Stewart. Um, Edward, played by Robert Pattinson. 
on uh, Taylor Lerner, um, played by Jacob and stuff. So I got a couple of these I'm going to give to um, my friend at work because she's more obsessive than I am. Um, not really obsessive about it, but the trailer looks sick, so I have to know I love the books. So, yeah. Um, let's see. Now, majority of my friends know I'm super, super, super excited about the movie Nine coming out because I love anything that's like claymation, animated, like Pixar stuff, or just a combination of both and stuff like that. So, behind the booth where I got the Twilight stuff, um, got a nine bag. And you need to watch the trailer if you haven't. Um, that's the back of it. And they were having a thing where if you collected these cards by a Friday, like all of them, you would have gotten like a signing autograph by Elijah Wood, who does voice of nine and like the director and stuff like that. So um, I didn't go on my way to do it because it was just too much to do. So, um, but on Sunday, uh, they had all of them laying out, so I just grabbed a whole bunch and made a couple sets. So this is number one. And on the back of each, there's like a description and stuff like that. That's number one. Number two. Three and four are on the same one, so I'm guessing it's like twins or something like that. Number five. Number six. Number seven. Number eight. And number nine. And then the special machine card you were supposed to also get was Seamstress. Cannot wait for this movie to come out. 9909. On the date. <laughs> so, 